Let's talk about data driving your load tests. You see, sometimes you need to use different login credentials, form values, or request parameters to pull off a test against apps or databases that have constraints. Sometimes you need to use different values that validate against your web app, uh, and you don't want to generate that data up front. Let's see how easy it is to integrate data into your tests using Load UI Web. You just click the Set Parameter Values button at the top of the screen, and you're presented with a list of requests in your scenarios that contained variable data. Here we'll select the Username field from our login page, click Next, then give this test data a name. Load UI Web supports a wide range of data sources. You can load data from Excel and CSV files, and even connect up to an ODBC compliant data source like SQL or Oracle databases. Load UI Web also allows you to automatically generate things like addresses, phone numbers, social security numbers, and names to save you time and test data management overhead. For now, we'll select the Excel spreadsheet option and browse to our Excel file. Then we'll select a worksheet, in this case the first one, then select the proper column. Finally, we want to let Load UI Web know how to correlate our data with the virtual user instances in a larger load test. And there are a couple of options here. The first basically means that user 1 is going to get row 1, and user 2 is going to get row 2, and so on and so forth. I'll do the same for the password field here, flying through the wizard and simply selecting a different column. See how easy it is to add a bunch of external data to your load tests? While we're here, let's have Load UI Web generate some data for us. We'll select the Load UI Web variable option, then generate a list of unique names and addresses. I've done a few here. And now, our order placement request posts those values instead of what we originally recorded, all without having to maintain data in our spreadsheets. To connect to a database, we need to specify the connection details first. Once connected, you can select either a table, a view, or write a custom query to pull specific data in. For now, let's just select a few columns in the table. Then the rest of the process works the same as we saw before. You see, there you have it. Data-driven testing is fantastically easy. Check it out for yourself. Download a free trial of Load UI Web and get started testing today.